This is Ray's small distance generator with a pendulum. This video will do two things. Show the efficiency of the pendulum machine plus a new novel generator. It's a small distance generator. I'll go ahead and show close up everything. If you look online you can find Milkovic, M-I-L-K-O-V-I-C, I believe. Pendulum generator, he's the one that invented this and made it popular. Very, very easy to maintain. I'm using a bulb right now. It's a flashlight bulb, 2.5 volt, it's supposed to be about 0.3 amp. I don't want to blow this thing out. I've blown a couple already, so I'm doing it kind of easily. But that translates into about uh, uh, 0.75 watt pulses or DC, really. <laughs> but I'm using a pulse machine. Compared to a LED, LEDs draw about well, 2 volt around... 0.02 amp that comes out to be about 0.04 amp or about 40 milliwatt so that's why I wanted to stay away from a LEDs they're just too hard to work with so you can see them popping there around uh, that's a one volt division so complete from top to bottom it is about eight volts peak to peak so I'm hitting around half of that about four but I'm just trying to be careful. I'm going to set it up here for some experiments. The first would be the relative ease of the machine to maintain that. It's made up of a, it's about a 10 pound, uh, 10, 12 pound weight. I have a bicycle spoke or a fork. That's the bearing. I use the fork to come over and uh, pop that, uh, the uh, it's a 2x2 two two inch new magnet. Very, very powerful. Be careful with those things. Okay, that's how it's made. Okay, I'll be back and we'll test the relative ease of maintaining the swing. I have a little force measuring tool and I can see it's set up uh, 0, 2, 4, 6 pound. So, the relative ease, I hope it shows up on the video it doesn't move very much there we go. so maybe somewhere around a pound of course don't know if that shows up but just showing the relative ease of the uh, motion okay I'm going to go and hook this back up to a larger bulb because I don't want to blow the uh, small one out there. So we'll go ahead and come back in just a second. Yeah, I changed this over to a 6 uh, volt flashlight bulb. They uh, run around 0.25 amp or so. But anyhow, this is a lot safer. I won't burn it out. So you can see that the uh, oscilloscope is set up one volt per division, but we're, we're hitting from top to bottom pulses. So uh, anyhow, that shows you the ease of this. Now I wanted to uh, show you the difference of the ease of this machine set up with a short distance generator, which is so more advantageous. The problem with these pendulum machines were they give a limited amount of distance. It's very limited, but it's very, very powerful. So what I did was uh, made up a generator that has a small distance to put out a power uh, generation. So we're going to compare that with the 
standard uh, generator that you're normally used to. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, I have set up here what you call a regular uh, little generator. It's like a DC motor, but they can be used for a uh, generator too. So anyhow, if you remember, this is one volt per division. There's about eight of them going across there from top to bottom. Uh, and we were spanning that with the small distance generator. So what I'm going to show is just the relative. This is really not a perfect setup, but get her lift there a little bit. So I'm hitting down about two volts, two divisions. So what the purpose of this is is show that a normal generator, you have to have a lot of RPM. You got to get some speed to it. Whereas the pendulum machine just wasn't built for that type of thing. So you had to have a different kind of generator and this is what I came up with a small distant one but uh, this just gives you the idea it's not uh, uh, too uh, real accurate or anything but so you have to spin that pretty good and I've got about two volts and you can see the the brightness of the uh, six volt bulb so we're gonna go and get this matched up better when you have the load and I have back here two resistors in back there and uh, they're each 10 ohms so they're in parallel so in being parallel that makes 5 ohm total for the load so we're going to hook that up that'll be a better match than the light bulb and we'll see really what kind of power this is generating okay back a little bit okay I got the uh, 5 ohm load hooked up and we're getting not quite uh, the full scope of the screen, so somewhere around 7 volt peak to peak. So uh, we want to see what kind of power that would be pulse wise. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So current is voltage divided by resistance. So we had seven volts this is peak peak to peak and uh the resistance was five ohm load so we're in there uh around uh, uh 1.4 somewhere around there 1.4 amp okay so the power is i've already done this here uh is 1.4 times your seven that's about 9.8 power pulses. Uh, this is peak to peak. Okay, it's not RMS or a DC value or anything like that, but just peak to peak. But that's pretty good. That's able to light a light bulb. Uh, the last experiment, we're going to use a super capacitor, and we'll show you that. Be back in a second here. Okay, we're going to go and test this super capacitor, and what we're using is the uh, machine here the pendulum machine and it's hooked up to the coil right now the pancake coil is about three ohms I use glue when I wrapped it so it has a nice solid uh, effect instead of having loose wires and uh, then I have the wires from the coil coming down to the load which is uh, five ohm resistance and you can see the uh, voltage on there about 1.05 okay. so we'll write that down uh, 1.015 volts so what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, 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 get this machine working we'll go about 50 swings on it and see what kind of power we have left over so there we are so let's uh, start the machine up here and uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, a few left over. Okay, now we're going to set this up and we'll see what kind of power we got. Okay, we started out with 1.015 volt and we charged it up with 50 swings, 1.032. And that was uh, uh, the uh, pendulum machine is very easy to maintain that. So what we're going to do is light the little light and uh, see how long it'll stay lit till we get back to the original 1.015 volt. That's how long that thing's staying lit. We put some a good charge in there. I didn't time it, but uh, it's considerable. There's a fifteen. So that was uh, that shows you that this uh, small distance generator can put quite a bit of uh, a charge back into the uh, supercapacitor there. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this demonstration is just to show two things, the ease of these pendulum machines, and they do, they rock about everything in the house <laughs> just by a very small uh, push maintaining the swing. And second was the new novel type of generator. It's a small distance generator using that uh, Neo Magnet, which is a 2x2, two two, very powerful, be careful, and a 3 ohm coil that was wound, and uh, it uh, generates enough power to show that the uh, it's an easy way. It's not really to show that anything's over unity here. They say that the uh, Melkovic uh, pendulum machine is over unity, and I, I tend to see that. You know, you put your finger in between something and that coming down there, uh, you know, you feel it and just with the small amount of power that you use to maintain that So I, I I'm leaning toward that way. I don't have any way to measure that but uh, they say that it is and uh, Using this small distance generator uh, very easily you can see uh, the outfit outputs uh, they're using the bulbs and the uh, Resistors, okay, have a good day Hope you have a, uh, find some new things, find something special, and make every day count. If you found this experiment interesting, and those like this on my channel, go ahead and give me a coffee or two. You can see the description link there. And to keep these type of experiments, help support them. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.